Not a falling <laughs> skittle either. That's a that's Comet Neowise. We've talked quite a bit about how this would be visible in the sky. Uh, early morning hours, if you wake up around 4 or 5 in the morning and look off to the north, if we have got sky conditions that cooperate, you actually got a chance to see this thing. Willard Sharp sent in this picture. Uh, you can see he's a pretty darn good photographer. He's got that cool house. Uh, looks kind of run down, but cool house sitting there in the, for in the foreground. Otherwise, clear skies out there, and uh, I think that was even Jupiter off in the distance there. 85 degrees is what we're sitting at right now. We've got a feels like temperature uh, at 85 as well. So dew points are down there. Uh, this is some of the lower dew points we've had in a little bit. 62 degrees is what we're sitting at for that. So across the state, you can see clouds up off to the northwest. Chances for showers up into the Dakotas. So eventually we could start to tap into that system as it makes its way down uh, our direction overnight into tomorrow. And then again, more chances for showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. But a pretty hot one out there today. 91 for the metro Kansas City as well as St. Louis. 100 degrees for Dodge City. Traveling off to the west into the middle 90s. 85 for Minneapolis and low to mid 80s over the Great Lakes. So your day planner for you. Plan on it just being hot. I mean, by 1 p.m. we're already talking 87 degrees. Heat index to 93 by 4 p.m. Some of that cloud cover will build into the evening and overnight hours ahead of that system. That looks to finally bring rain chances into some western portions of the state. You can see it just kind of move through there. And then we head throughout the day on, uh, on Sunday, too. And we've got at least a chance in the early morning hours. But this is going to be kind of a grazing system. Bulk of it is going to be through Nebraska up into the Dakotas. And you can see a severe weather threat today out in that neck of the woods is pretty elevated. It's called enhanced. So on that scale, you can see it only goes up to high. So smack in the middle, three out of five there. Uh, so they got chances for tornadic activity as well as large hail. For us, into the day tomorrow, chances will be low. We will likely see some showers and thunderstorms, but just not that great of odds for anything severe out there. As far as rain chances, we will continue with some potential for rain accumulation, but it's not going to be a lot. It's going to really depend on where this line of storms out to the southwest lands. So if that inches its way a little bit further to the northeast, it's going to bring that heavier rain into some areas that desperately need it. But at this point, looking like that area may miss out again on the heaviest rain, which is pretty sad. You look at some of these locations. Disclaimer, these are not the official totals. These are uh, areas that are not officially monitored. Uh, but from what we've got from the gauges anyway in Carroll, Eight and a half inches below average to so almost seven inches below average for Audubon. Denison, 6.2. Jefferson, almost six inches. And Creston, upwards of three and a quarter inches below average. Yeah, it's dry out there. So, again, I wish I could bring you guys in a little bit of rain, uh, but not looking that likely for us today. 91 degrees again. It's going to be hot. Stay hydrated. And we head out into the evening hours. 69 degrees is that overnight low. Again, plan on the chances for showers and thunderstorms building into the overnight your eight day forecast hanging out in the 80s for a bit here more chances for storms on Tuesday after that temperatures climb into the low to mid 90s by the end of the week.